Talk to me, bud. What are we doing? All right, guys, we're first uh, Bofin session together this year. We're at our infamous number spot. That was huge. I don't think that was a Bofin, dude. That looked like an Arapaima. <laughs> dude, I'm not even kidding. If that was a Bofin, we got a 13 pounder out there. That thing's back looked like it was this wide. That had to have been a carp. We've caught a lot of bofin in the past. We're gonna see if we can get it done. It's been pretty good the past few days, so hopefully they're still turned on. We just had snow yesterday, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get them going. Alrighty guys, Justin did the whole intro for me, so it keeps my job easier, but this is actually my first mission, actually filming in Illinois. We've done a little bit of smaller missions. As Justin said, we're gonna be going for bofin. I'll go over my rod, the setups, kind of what we're using, all the ins and outs and things like that, but I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. We're back, back to Illinois. All right, Justine. Let's get rolling through the woods. Take you to the forest, bud. It's a big one. It's a big one. Guys, if you're ever walking through the forest and you feel something grab your ass, it's probably Justin. <laughs> I should have brought some shades, dude. Double digit out there. Do you have your scale on you? No. Dude, the amount of times I get my rod caught in a tree. You've seen me use them before. They're really accurate. I've tested them with dumbbells and all sorts of stuff. Thank you. Also, a big thing, guys, for today, the bite might not be amazing, only because we did just get, what, two to three inches of snow? yesterday and the day before so we'll see what happens here but we got a balming 50. justin just said it's a good sign though that they're still popping out which actually is and oh, they're all they're on the log oh, i'm gonna shut up throw you guys in the gopro okay guys so for the setup i actually use a 7.4 heavy this is a saint croix mojo bass and we're actually going to be float fishing these prehistoric fish so actually i have a flipping hook on this is what i actually started with with justin um justin's kind of upgraded uh what are you using bud I use treble hooks now. So Justin's actually moving to trebles. And we I set it quick so they don't swallow it, so don't worry. I haven't had a single one swallow a treble hook yet. For those who have watched the Florida videos, I think you guys are gonna remember this, this knife case. Came in handy. I'm literally just gonna take a little piece of bluegill cut bait. Uh, Justin, we usually use fresh, but this is frozen just because we already had, or Justin already had stuff. All right, so we got my bobber stop knot right there. You come down, we got the float. There's a bead on top of that float to the flipping hook and I'm actually using no leader. Justin uses a 40 pound leader for, why? I've just had them after a few fish, sometimes the braid will give out, so. I'm just gonna risk it with the braid today. I was gonna bring my salmon rod just to bring it, there we go. First cast, feels good. All right, guys, my bobber just got a hit. Yeah, I think it's, oh. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's oh, gonna yeah. Okay. I'm going to let him take it. Yeah, let him chew it. Crush him. It. It's a big one. It's a big one. Watch your line. Please don't lose it. First one of the year. Come on. That's yeah, a nice thing now. No, no, no. Flip it up. Let's go, dude. Alrighty, guys, my first bowfin of the year. Get a better grip on it real quick. Look at that. First bowfin of the year. Not a bad one at all. Feels good to be back out here with Justine. Back on the bowfin. And we officially are in spring. We're gonna set a quick pick of this and get a solid release. Look at this, prehistoric. Dino fish, guys. Look at this fish. It's absolutely unbelievable looking. When the dinosaurs were walking, this fish was swimming. Think about a 150 million year old fish right here. So, get a pick, get him back in. Nice female though. Are right, you guys both in? Probably a good five. Wow, that's so cool, dude. 
My yeah. first bullpen of the year, my first outing, that was literally like my third cast. Feels great to be back out here, it's glorious out today. I was actually up till six in the morning last night. Pretty much woke up at 10, edited the rest of the video, the Florida series is officially completed, and once I got done, Justin gave me a call to meet him out here, and here we are. So my third cast, first bullpen, and Justin was kind of saying if it's gonna be slower and we catch bigger females, we'd rather have it that way, honestly, anyways. All right, I'll keep you guys updated, here we go. Yeah, when I started seeing him pop up, Oh, Tommy, you take off, he's calling. Hey guys, we're on again. This was a small male, so it came off. No big deal. Well, I cut my bait too. Let's go. So when I switched my bait, I actually threw on a bluegill head and I pretty much got hit on my first cast. Um, it was a smaller bowfin, so it came off, which is no big deal. We need to do the smaller ones is better anyways. Oh, I'm getting hit again. Oh my God. Dude, it's literally the little hole of both of them. He has it right now, 100%. Yeah, he's swimming with it. See if we can double up. Yeah, he's chewing it right now. 100%, he's on. Look at my bobber just like spinning. All right guys, we have another one on. So I have that female. This could I just, be a female. I had that male, and Justin thinks this could be a female the way it's taking. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. That's a lady. <laughs> yeah. Another nice one. Oh my God! He was jumping like a torpin. That was bang on the money with how I think it's taking. No, That's a male. It's a big male, dude. Holy shit. Also guys, if you're interested in doing something like this, you can actually book Justin to do both in trips like this, or there's other ones that we do as well that you guys have seen in the past. See how we open? <laughs> probably just a way, Jeez, probably dude. a weak spot. In that the was in there. Guys, yeah, look what this bowfin just did. Oh, Completely cracked off the hook, but we got it out. Look, that's what I'm talking about. You see all those yeah. dots? They have teeth all the way down this thing. It's crazy. All right, guys, this is my third bowfin, but my second landed. This is actually a pretty big male. These males usually don't get this big. Justin said, I'd say anywhere from like three to four, mm -hmm. three to four pounds. But usually the males are not this big, so we actually thought it was a female. But I think it's one of the bigger males we've actually gotten at this location. For sure. Um, like I said, if you guys want to do a trip like this, you can actually book Justin. Um, I'll leave his at to his Instagram. Just DM him and get on some bowfin. They're awesome fish to catch. Prehistoric, 150 million years old. Let's get this guy back in. All right, guys, my second. Going back in the drink. All right, guys, I got one on now. About the same area. We're thinking that there's a, a little pack of them. It's right right in front of this uh, flat here. I believe he's still got it because I just saw my float shake. So I'm just going to let him eat it. Yep, he's still got it. Let him chew on it. Then we'll give him the beans. But you guys can see very subtly, it's kind of just bouncing, trying to go out now, swimming away from us. And then Justin's about to jack. Good one. Yeah, very beautiful wow. male. I use the treble hooks because it's got so many points. These bowfins got like rock hard mouths and heads, and it always finds a way to get them somewhere. Now this is a male. You can tell one of the main factors is you can see that kind of that green tint. It's not real bright yet. When they're getting closer to spawning, those would be like bright neon green. But it actually looks like they're getting ready soon. Got some good green tint there. Really pretty pattern the males have, and then another main, uh, major thing is that spot on its tail. Really pretty guy though. I think they get that green tint in this spot to impress the ladies too. Do you kinda, wish you could have a green spot? Kinda, yeah, I wish I had a spot here and green hand. <laughs> you think you did something with Shrek. Beautiful though. Nice. One more thing too, I'm sure you guys, if you watch the videos, have seen this before, but I like to do it every year. These are not snakehead. You can tell. We've got the long top fin here and then a small anal fin here where a snakehead will have the long top fin and the long bottom fin. Don't kill these. These are native 150 million year old fish from the dinosaurs. So 
Make sure you release them. Male? Another nice male. Wow, dude, I've never even seen males like this come out of here. Well, guys, Justin's a bowfin right here, but I'm actually gonna hand this camera right over to Justin because I am on right now. It's taking. It's taking. All right, guys. Nice male bowfin. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Keep it and do yep, double. Yep. Is that a good one? Its wake looks huge. No. It wasn't that big. It was decent, though. Not a decent one. Nice male, beautiful fish. Gonna get some picks, let this one go, and hopefully we get another one right away. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> All the way under. <gasps> Holy shit! That was a spunky fuck. I think it's a nice one. Jumping. So fat, dude. That's pretty nice. Yeah, no, that's, that is, I thought it was honestly a lot smaller. It's fat, dude. Look at that. Still got my bait. I see the, the fin. Oh, that, that's, a, that's a little female. This little female. This thing took off with it. No hesitation. Can tell this one's a female, no green, and no spot. There you go, bud. Nice one. All right, guys, Justin Bofin, going back in. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, it felt good to get back out, do some fishing, get back on the camera here, and film a pretty good video for you guys. So we ended with about six or seven. It was a pretty good day. Uh, we actually lost quite a bit too. I think I lost two myself. Uh, Justin, how many did you lose? I think Justin also lost two. So we actually could have had even a better day, but went good. Had fun out here, guys. If you wanna get any of my merch, McGrath Fishing, you guys can actually get it on fathernation.com slash McGrath Fishing. Uh, be sure to check that out. I also am coming out with hats. I'll pop an image right here. Let me know what you guys think of that. But that is going to be it. Please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Early mornings, late night cruising Up and down the crystal cove And through the uneasy stream Bass fishing, corona drinking We're just out here catching the American dream Relax, McGrath fishing is all you need